We have an Ichai Mini H8S 3D drone with a broken motor. We want to recycle it to build an airplane. This drone was purchased at AliExpress for around 12 euros. It has a gyroscope working in three axes, which can self-stabilize the plane we want to make. We start by extracting the electronic board and the brushed motors. We built the plane using a 3 mm thick depron sheet, with 3 and 4 mm diameter wooden sticks. The wingspan is 49 cm, with a width of 6 cm. The wing area is 0.0294 square meters. The horizontal stabilizer is 16.5 cm long and 5 cm wide. It has a small decalage to ensure the right dynamic behavior of the aircraft. The vertical stabilizer has a width of 6.5 cm and a height of 6 cm. The distance from the trailing edge of the main wing to the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer is 16 cm. The body of the plane without the electronics weighs 12 grams. The plane with all the electronics included has a weight of 30 grams. The wing loading is 1.02 kilograms per square meter. First, we place the two rear motors of the drone as propulsion motors of the plane, since one of the front motor was broken. The other front motor has been left operational, but without a propeller. This configuration seems in principle not to be adequate. As seen in the images, if the nose of the aircraft is raised up, the motors increase the power. You may think that the optimal behavior for the motors should be to decrease the power in order to prevent the stall of the aircraft. The most reasonable option seems to be to put the two front motors of the drone as propulsion motors of the plane. In any case, we carry out the first tests with this configuration to analyze the behavior of the aircraft. In the tests, we set the center of gravity, which is 3 cm from the leading edge of the wing, which corresponds to 50% of the wing cord. The plane has to fly at a high angle of attack so that the motors do not stop. We noted that it turns fine to the right, but it was impossible to make it turn to the left. In the next version, the motors have been placed in the front of the drone board, and the third motor has been removed. In this way, the motors decrease in power when the nose of the aircraft raises up. The arm of the motors has been increased to 5 cm, so that the turning moment in the yaw axis is greater than the moment we had in the first version. With this, we hope to fix the problems for turning to the left. It is noted that the behavior is now much more nervous, and the gyroscope stabilizes the plane very abruptly. In the test, we note that the plane is constantly spinning. In the end, we have deduced that, in the first version, which you see again in the video, the plane did not turn to the left because the power was divided between two motors, one of which did not have a propeller. Therefore, the turning moment was insufficient. When turning to the right, all power was concentrated in a single motor. Surely, removing the third motor we could have obtained a plane that turned well to both sides. We have also deduced that the best configuration is the one with rear motors, since the airplane must necessarily fly with a certain angle of attack, even more so if the wings have a flat aerodynamic profile. Therefore, it is not convenient that the gyroscope decrease the power when the plane pitches up. That is what happens if you place the motors in the front side of the board. In any case, we think that the drone is not designed to operate with only two motors, since they receive extra power. In fact, the second version ended up burning the electronic board. In a next video, we will try to make an airplane with all four motors running at the same time. Remember that you can do two things to avoid the yaw problems due to lack of motor force, the first, increase the arm of the motors, the second, decrease the airplane's moment of inertia with respect to the axis of rotation for the yaw. To achieve this, it is enough to decrease the wingspan. And that is all, thanks.